Good morning, everyone. This is a very foggy and humid day here in North Georgia. It's kind of cool right now. Temperature is in the mid 50s and it's forecasted to get up into the low 70s. So in my opinion, the weather is pretty ideal today to do some rock flipping. Uh, the main target is going to be Scarlet Kings again. I'm going to be looking for them a lot while the getting is good because they have a very short window in which they're reliably found, at least in North Georgia. So I'm going to try to take full advantage of that over the next couple of days, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to turn up a few more. I know we've done pretty well with them so far this year, but it should be starting to get to around peak right now. So I'm at a spot where we found one last year, the first one I ever found in this area. So hopefully I'll be able to turn up a different individual. I did find that same individual multiple times last year, but I would really like to find a different one just to see what kind of variation they get up here. So that's going to be the main goal for today, but I'll just be happy to see some snakes. So hopefully we'll be able to turn some stuff up. I'm going to get the rock flipping, put the GoPro on, and uh, I'll let you guys know when I see something. What is that? It's a giant Desmog. Way up away from the creek. That is weird. Look at that thing. It's gotta be a seal salamander. It's just, I've never seen these in this area before. And that thing is huge. Really cool. That has to be a seal salamander. It's just so meaty. Look at that. Either way, very cool. This guy was a little bit uphill of the creek, so not too surprising, but just not what I was expecting to see under that rock. <laughs> really cool. We'll put him back real quick. There you go, buddy. red-bellied snake not bad first snake of the day well there's our first snake of the day a very damp red-bellied snake I just flipped not sure how well the flip clip came out but yeah I do think this might be the first one of these I've seen at this spot so that's kind of neat but a very common snake overall so just gonna get a quick voucher shot and put him back under his rock Ooh, three line salamanders. Three of them. Look at those guys. <laughs> so that rock had, I'm assuming that's where that guy came from. And three of these. Nice three line salamanders. We're real far north in Georgia to be seeing these guys, so it's kind of cool too. We're pretty much in the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains today, so very interesting. Anyways. The other two are back under the rock already. This is the biggest one. There he goes. It's a giant slimy. Wow. And a little one under there too. Look at these guys. Look at that. Talk about a unit. There you go. A newt! Wow, look at that thing. And a nice, another nice slimy. Look at the colors on this little guy. His background color isn't that bright, but his spots are just glowing. Very nice. He's got like huge neon orange spots on him. It's really interesting looking. I'm actually going to take a quick camera photo of this guy and then we'll put him back. An earth snake. Deep in shed. Well, there's our next snake of the day and our next species of the day. A nice smooth earth snake. This guy's nice and healthy, but he is deep in shed, so we're not gonna mess with him too much. I'll just pull him out and replace his rock. These guys are pretty common here, so I wouldn't be surprised if we end up getting into a few more of them. Oh, garter snake. It's kind of interesting. Was not expecting that. Oh, relax, dude. That's awesome. Check that thing out. All right, guys. Well, here's our next snake of the day. Quite the feisty little eastern garter snake I just flipped. 
this is actually not a species that we see terribly often and i really don't see a lot of them flipping at all most of the time when we find them they're on the road or out basking that's a pretty good looking snake he's a little bit covered in mud and a really pretty red tongue look at that so i'm just gonna put this guy back under his rock and keep hoping for that scarlet king three snakes so far in decent diversity all different things so i won't complain about that we'll put this guy back and get back to it Ooh, a tantilla that's a new one for the day there's next to zero chance this thing's gonna sit still for any extended period of time but that right there is a southeastern crown snake a pretty good find they're pretty common at this spot a lot of times when you get into an area that actually has these guys they can be locally abundant but finding those places can be pretty tough i wouldn't be surprised if we see more today they are fairly common here so Oh yes, there we go. <laughs> oh my goodness, that is amazing. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, yes. That is perfect. What a snake. And I got the flip. Incredible. That is absurd. Look at the red head on this thing. What a fantastic snake. <laughs> no Eastern King yet either. This area is crawling with Eastern Kings. I've seen an Eastern King every time I've come here, except for this time. So, I mean, we've still got plenty of habitat to hit so we could get one, but kind of weird we got a Scarlet King first. What a beautiful little snake. Kind of seems like this guy might be starting to go into shed. It's a young snake, so not terribly big. Let's see if we can get a look at the belly. That's very cool. Pretty typical looking though. Not too much milk snake weirdness going on in this area, which is kind of strange because we are pretty much in the Blue Ridge. All right, guys, I just got done taking some photos of this little guy. He was pretty cooperative. You can see he's got a lot of spunk to him. He's been trying to bite me a lot. Yep, as you can see. <laughs> they're so bitey when they're little like this. But anyways, that is exactly what I was hoping to see today. I couldn't be happier. Actually, I could be happier if it was a full-grown adult freshly shed. This guy looks like he's about to start going into shed. He's a little bit dull. But as you can see, still a very, very nice looking snake. Even as it starts to enter a shed cycle, this thing is still stunning. But anyways, like I said, I've still got quite a bit more habitat to work here. So we're going to get after it, put this guy back under his rock, see what else we can turn out. But the main goal of the day has already been accomplished. So anything from here on out is icing, unless we can get a full grown adult Scarlet King. That would be the, the biggest thing that I would hope to see still. So, all right, bud, here you go. There's your rock. Go on. Epic. Let's see what else we can turn up. Whoa, double ring neck, two big ones too. No ring necks all day and then two under the same rock. Whoa, chill out. I would like to look at you. Come here. Beautiful bellies on them. Good stuff. First ring necks of the day. Oh, there's a worm. Come here. Is that the first? Yeah, it's the first worm snake of the day. Very nice. What is that? Oh, it's a little tantilla. That's the next rock over from the worm snakes. Look at the collar on that thing. That is a beautiful little tantilla. I wish these things weren't such a pain to photograph because that thing would be beautiful. That is an awesome looking little tantilla. Look at that head. The yellow neck ring. Really nice. I'm going to let this guy go and turn the GoPro back on. He's a little dude. Oh, 
there's another tiny tantilla. Look at that. This one's also really pretty. Really bright little split nuchal, just like that other one. Interesting. It's another little tantilla. What is with these baby tantilla? Oh, a corn. That is so cool. What the heck? He's so dark. Look at that thing. That is awesome. What's up, bud? <laughs> what a great flip. Nice adult corn snake. That's not something I flip under rocks really ever. That might be the first time I've ever done that. Weird. <laughs> Looking like this guy's about to go into shed too. He's kind of dull. Very nice. So that's really cool. I always uh, kind of struggle to find these guys in habitat, especially adults. It's pretty common to see the juveniles under tree bark, but finding adults in habitat in North Georgia is almost impossible from my experience. I have had way better luck finding Scarlet Kings than corns, which is really weird considering I know a lot of people do find quite a few corns under stuff in North Georgia, just not me. But I never get tired of these guys. They're one of my favorite local snakes to find, especially considering they can be kind of uncommon in a lot of North Georgia. They're very easy to find on the roads at night. That's definitely the easiest way to find them. But to actually find one in habitat like this is a real treat for me. A lot of snakes right now are just starting to go into their first shed cycle of the spring, so they're not looking their best. But hey, I'm not complaining. Corn snake and a scarlet king today, along with plenty of other common snakes. It's been a really good day. So I'm gonna go put this guy back under his rock and we're gonna keep making our way back towards the car. There should be a decent amount of habitat for us to hit on the way back and we could always find something out on the crawl. It's nice and warm right now. We'll go put this guy back under his rock and get back to it. But a nice corn snake is our next find. This guy actually looks pretty colorful in the sun. You can see how his belly is a little bit blue tinted. He's definitely about to go into shed where he'll probably Actually, this looks kind of like it could be a girl, too. Definitely going to be a good way to wrap up the episode if we don't see anything else between here and the car. All right, Mr. Rockcorn. Here you go. Good stuff. It's a very tiny rock for a snake that big. All right, guys. It's been a couple hours since you last saw me. I'm back home now, and... Air the pickerel frogs are going off. But Aaron and Killian are here and we're walking around the pond. These guys are gonna be hanging out with us for the next couple of days. And hopefully we're gonna find some pretty cool stuff. But we're doing a quick pond walk tonight, try to get a good night's sleep, and then we're gonna get up early in the morning and herp again. So uh, let's see what all we can turn up. There's at least a green frog and a bullfrog right here. You can see the green frog on the left, bullfrog on the right. Thank you.